Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. We're going to try some of our new wire out and uh, see how it compares with our competitors. And uh, what I have here is the flux core wire. It's an 035. It's the, the E71T. And uh, it's a 10 pound spool. It comes in a bag, sealed bag in a box. And uh, then we got the 2 pound spool. And uh, it's the same size. And uh, we're going to Go ahead and use our MIG Weld 140. I've already got a two pound spool in there. So I'm gonna run a bead and uh, see how it runs and go to it. Okay, now I'm doing the flat weld. This is the 035 flux core. And uh, I've got the bevel on it. And I'm just running it back and forth, letting it fill in the groove. Runs nice and smooth. Not too much spark. Remember, remember to keep ventilation going on this too because this is a smoky kind of wire. So if you have the, the um, vacuum, see how this is smoking up on me a little bit? There's ways to get around that. Now I'm doing a vertical uphand. You want to keep it pointing right almost at a 90 degree angle to your weld and keeping a small arc and then whipping it back and forth, left and right, or whatever you're comfortable with to fill in that groove. Let it fill in. And don't, if it drips a little bit, that's not necessarily your weld. That'll be the flux. So just be patient with it. Now this from starting the horizontal. Same principle as the vertical. Keep a short arc. Keep it almost at a 90 degree angle to your work. If you don't get the 90 degrees, you can point it up a little bit, but not too much. Then you will get dripping. And just fill in the gap and keep it moving. This wire doesn't mind the vertical and horizontal. Okay, let's clean them up. Okay, we've got our flat weld here, filled in the groove nice. We've got our horizontal, filled in the groove nice. And we've got our vertical, and I've filled it in nice. Well, there's our wire there for our MIG welder, the flux core. I'm going to check some of our other wire, and uh, I'll let you know on those next time. This is Rob. Thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab.